Today on Cooking with the Jacobs, I'm going to show you a quick, short, slow cooker short today. So we have what we have is a bit large red onion, thinly sliced, um, four chicken breasts ready to go, a can of tomato sauce, full bottle of barbecue sauce, okay, and of course our trusty slow cooker. So the onions are going to go on the bottom of the slow cooker. And I cut them as slow and as thin as I could make them. Because we want them just to basically melt away as this is cooking. Okay, just a thin layer on the bottom there. Chicken breasts, lay on top. And try to spread them around. Pan of tomato sauce. And barbecue sauce. So this is going to make us a barbecue chicken bread boat. And we'll come back in a little bit to show you how we put that together to put into the oven once we wait for our slow cooker to cook up here. So, we really can't go out without it in this house. Where are you? I know you're in here. Garlic powder. All right. Set this to go on high. I'm going to let it go for about four hours and then come back and check on it and I'll show you what it looks like then. Welcome back to Cooking with the Jacobs. As you can see, the slow cooker is ready to be um, take the lid off here and see what we've got. I sincerely hope you're enjoying your day today. We have a great day outside today. It's about 26 or 27 outside, so it's really nice and warm here. Hope you're enjoying your day wherever you are. Anyway, let's take a look at this. This is our barbecue chicken that we started earlier. So as you can see, it's bubbling away for us here really nice. We've got a nice thick sauce happening here. The onions are melting away. The chicken is so soft and tender, it's just breaking apart underneath my spoon. Perfect, it's ready to go. So what I did, we have some shredded cheese here, double cheddar's cheese ready to go to go on top of this. This is a nice fresh loaf from the market this morning. And what I did is I hollowed it out to make a nice little cavity in here. And I'm gonna put the top from the cavity right in the bottom so that we have this nice kind of boat shape that's ready to go to be filled. Slid back off. So Corey will be on to test it a bit later for us and make sure that it's okay. Of course, it probably is. So we're layering the chicken and the onions and the boat part and the nice hollow part that we have set out for it. We're going to put some of the sauce in there as well. Let it soak up the bread. Try and 
got a lot more of the chicken in here for us. I did barbecue with this today but I've done it a few different ways and I will show you that as we go put your own little spin on this all right so we have that pretty much filled here got lots of chicken in there so now we're gonna take our cheese and I have the oven set here and ready to go at 400 preheated so I'll put the cheese on top just nice melted on top and we like our cheese in here just as much as we like our garlic so like nice and covered here I think that should do it. Nice and covered up. This oven is ready to go here, 400 degrees. Mm. All right, we'll let that sit probably about 15, 20 minutes or so in the oven. We'll check back. Hi, welcome back to Cooking with the Jacobs. So uh, my wife did a little episode today, and this is the result. Chicken in a boat, or what are you calling it? Barbecue chicken bread boat. There you go. Of course, we can't forget the taste test. That is correct. Ooh, it's a messy one. Messy usually means yummier, right? Usually, yeah. Well, let's cut one for you. Just turn this around for you. Oh. So good that it is overflowing with goodness. It's almost like a sloppy joe. Mm -hmm. Sort of that idea, like your soup in a bowl or chili in a bowl kind of idea. Mm -hmm. This time with barbecue chicken. That's very well, Beth. Thanks, love. So this is my first episode I did by myself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Probably see a few more. Yeah, you're a master at the slow cooker. <laughs> well, I try. So you guys sign off because this is your episode. It's not my episode. I'm just a taste tester. Well... From all of us here at Cooking with the Jacobs, I'm talking with my mouth full. From all of us here at Cooking with the Jacobs, we'd like to wish you a very good night. And we hope you enjoy this recipe if you try it. And from our house to your house, good night.